I think we will always be creative. We will always be inspired to do something um, with food. You know, um, even with the donuts alone, we're inspired constantly by our customers or our neighbors who bring in fresh fruit or whatever it is from their backyards. You know, I think it's amazing. Um, we change our menu every day based on what inspired us that day. We create our donuts as if they're a composed plate, you know, where you have your starch, your protein, and maybe your side dish. Um, it isn't complete until you put all those flavors together or those components together. So it's very important that your main ingredient, the dough, is really, really good. Whenever people tell me, oh, you guys are doing so well, um, I always say yes, but it's a whole lot of work to be in this type of donut business. Um, again, the choice of dough that we, we make um, makes everything more complicated. And of course, making all the components by hand um, also makes the workload so much harder and tedious. Um, a typical work day, every day I make dough. Um, our doughs take about six to eight hours minimum to, um, for the initial fermentation. So I mix the dough um, and then basically let it sit in the refrigerator in a cool room for about uh, six to eight hours to let the butter set. To me, I wanted that donut to have that turnaround, like, hey, uh, it's humble, but then it's also so luxurious. Actually, we always hear the quote, let them eat cake, um, by Marie Antoinette. But if you actually look at what she had said, she, in, in French, she said, let them eat brioche. Because brioche is that, as I said, the rich man's bread. It's it's the Cadillac of all those, and I wanted to make the Cadillac of donuts. So, brioche donuts it is. Mm -hmm.